Hey everybody, Zeno here, and welcome back to another episode of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. And, uh, I, I done did a bad. <laughs> this episode is going to be a little bit different than the other episodes that we've done lately, um, because I, uh, I mis misplaced the audio for this episode. When recording, I was just like forgot to turn on my mic so <laughs> the original recording of this episode doesn't exist what am i talking about right now i don't know probably something pretty interesting master koga that's what i'm talking about and how amazing he is um <laughs> so yeah last episode we went to fort hateno we did each step like thunder really great mission very uh challenging mission so we'll see about today if that's if it's any more challenging any less i mean i already know because this is recorded after i finished the entire let's play but you know you know we'll see i gotta play along with it we'll see <laughs> um master koga i can't wait to talk about him once we get into gameplay here today just as like a quick preview um he has become maybe my favorite character in the game <laughs> i absolutely love using him i love him as a character already but you guys already knew that but just I love using him as well. As you can see there, he's using the demon uh, carver, which is a very special weapon for the Yiga. So that'll be fun. Also bringing in, uh, looks like Hestu, Impa, and Zelda here. I think I'm talking about, uh, I have a new weapon for Hestu maybe, because the Shaka Marakas are um, his second tier weapon. Yeah, because we had the other ones before. They're better. Ooh, Impa has a really good Kado Kaduchi. Kado Kado Kadochi. Kadochi? Yes. I shouldn't even try to pronounce it because we know it's it's just gonna fail. Bow of Light for Zelda. That's another thing I'm very interested to um talk about some more in this episode. Which is uh that because I did not really use her too well in the last episode. I was just like they kind of just throw her at you halfway through the mission and like, hey. <laughs> Learn this new move set. That smells seconds. yummy. I believe so. Oh, Koga wants seconds too. Nice. The gang's all here. Are we gonna start the mission already, Zeno? Thank you. At long last, Zelda's true power had awakened. Even the Yiga clan, who had vehemently opposed the heroes, now joined them in strength. Finally, the people of Hyrule stood united. Just as hope had begun to shine, Zelda received an urgent message. Remaining Hyrulean forces were locked in a fierce battle on the Great Plateau. Heeding their call, the princess rushed immediately to their aid. All right. Our fight isn't over. We must hurry. I'm sorry, your highness. But it's too far. Even if we left right away. Blah, blah, blah. I just so happen to have good news to share. Go ahead and behold! <gasps> The tower! See that terminal over there? I used it to fiddle with the control unit. The one that's in the castle. And of course, I was successful! I managed to reactivate all of the towers! Impressive, right? Oh, yeah. yeah! Check it! Let's all hurry to the Sheikah Tower! Huh? Why there? <laughs> I also upgraded the teleportation functionality. Just like that? Now that's a feat. Well, to be fair, it's not all me. Thank the ancient tech built into our friend. Anyway, now we should be able to travel to any tower in Hyrule in a flash. Or to anywhere, really. Let us go. All right, so we're straight to the Great Plateau. And we have Koga here, so excited to talk about him. But uh, before we do, I just want to talk about his introduction last episode a little bit, because um, it's really good. <laughs> he just like kind of 
shows up and he's like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna work with you guys now. Not expected, a little weird, but also very cool because now I get to play as Koga during the main story. And I wasn't expecting that. I thought it would be like a after main story character. But here you're seeing his big glowy blast, which is like his signature part of his moveset. Uh, over time, as he uses special attacks, you'll see that meter with the spiked uh, Shika Ball. Yiga Ball, excuse me, up in the corner uh, fill up, like it did right there. And once it is at the top and it's full, he's gonna just like tumble himself over. And if you have the correct timing, you can go into the big glowy blast, but if you don't, uh, he'll fall into the ground and throw a tantrum. So that's fun. Also, you're seeing some of his, some of his other special moves here. That <laughs> there was the great uh, one there with the Shika Blade Ma not Shika, the Yiga Blade Masters. Uh, where he rushes around with them, and that's just amazing. Also, you can see there, uh, he puts out like a force field for one of his weak attacks, and then... Oh yeah, he, pu he pulls out the banana if uh, you continue that combo long enough, because there's like two forms to it. You can just start it off with like the regular dash forward, but if you keep continuing the dash with the Iga soldiers, and he pulls out the banana, and they get even more excited. So up here, uh, that's actually the, the Temple of Time right there. And it looks like our goal right now is to just aid some high lane captains all around the map. So we'll be getting into that. We can do the big glowy blast again. I love this move so much. It's especially good when you're up against like uh, larger enemies because it instantly brings up the weak point gauge. And it's just, it's, it's great. It's amazing. I love it. Also that right there, eating the banana, the re... <laughs> The reasoning behind that is you can avoid throwing the tantrum when you get the big glowy blast if you have that banana effect applied when you get to that point in uh, the thing. So it looks like right now we're ordering Impa to go into that keep and then probably I'm guessing Hestu to the other and then Zelda to the other. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I love post-commentary. It's great. <laughs> I have to figure out what the heck I was thinking back in the, back in the time that I was recording this. You know, it is nice in another way, though, because I don't have to worry about multitasking actually trying to play the game decently while also providing commentary. So maybe the commentary in this episode will actually be a bit, be a bit better since I'm just solely focusing on that. But at the same time, I'm not in sync with what I'm doing, so I don't know. It, it, it's trade-offs. Trade-offs and trade-offs. So back in that cutscene, uh, Pura just like instantly fixed the towers, which is okay, sure. That's that's fine, I guess. I do love how Koga was just in the background and he's like, yeah, let's go. They're like a part of the group now. It's great. Eileen Captain is on the verge of defeat. Well, th that's his problem, not mine. I'm Master Koga. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I love that. Just like his running animation too. He just like hovers in midair. It's amazing. Gosh, I love Master Koga so much. It all, it's also just like so surreal to hear Master Koga say like princess when we switch to Zelda like it's it, that's just surreal like even like when you pull out Link and you're fighting with Master Koga and Link he'll say Link and I didn't think he'd ever say that you know also I want to talk a, a little bit more but I kept seeing from a while back actually uh, the one where Aster basically turns on the Yiga and you have Koga and Suga just trying to not die to him. Now the thing is that that's a great cussing, it really is. But the implications of it are actually kind of dark because I don't want to spoil anything, but we don't see Koga for the rest- not Koga, Soga, not Soga, Suga <laughs> for the rest of the story. He, he's just gone, which implies that Aster actually killed him there. And, uh, that's something you don't really see in Zelda games lately. I mean, the king died, so that happened. But, like, usually people don't die. <laughs> and I just, I, I, found, I found that interesting. Especially he's a brand new character and just instantly bites the dust. But I guess that was the thing that pushed Koga uh, to actually go to the good guys and say, hey, I want my revenge, so... Yeah, also I used the complete wrong rune there, so nice job me. 
I, I guess I wanted to show off his stasis there because his stasis move is just so cool because he just like stops himself with the enemy and then pulls out two Yiga Blade Man, uh, not Blade Masters, uh, Foot Soldiers to just push him forward. <laughs> it's great. Big Louie Blast, do it! Yeah, there we go. See, instantly pulls out that weak point gauge so you can beat it down. Also, just look at the health bar. It's just, it's so good. I love that move too, using uh, the Blade Masters for a boost. <laughs> Report something. We Yiga could hop right over the rubble, but bringing everybody back, phew, that would be tricky. Uh, I know, how about we activate the Shrine of Resurrection then and use it as a travel gate? I forgot about this part, going to the Shrine of Resurrection. Stella, we can approach the temple from another angle. See, isn't that so weird? Zelda just goes out and says, Master Koga. <laughs> I, was, I was just thinking about it the other day, too. Like, Aster is never even formally uh, introduced in this game. No one ever says his name in-game. He's, ju he's just kind of there. So it makes it even more interesting that Koga is getting all this represent representation. Everybody's like buddy-buddy with him now. I love it, though. It doesn't make much sense. But I love it. Okay. Uh, Ampa is here fighting a Wizrobe with Link. Who's actually- he's not playable this mission. Uh, he's just like, there. This extra character. Cool. I like extra character. Get the symbols, me! What are you doing? There you go. Now we're on the sa uh, same wavelength. Fire Wizrobe. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. So let's talk about this map a little bit, though, because this is the Great Plateau 100 years ago. And uh, I remember when I was playing through this for the first time, I was so just interested by the fact that it wasn't destroyed. Like, I think you can even see this in uh, the end of last episode when I see the preview screen for it. But uh, that's so interesting to me. It, it wasn't destroyed. So what exactly changed there that... Um, led to the plateau not being destroyed. Also, why did they want to destroy the plateau in the first place? Because, see, I wasn't sure if the Great Plateau was destroyed before the Calamity 100 years ago, because, I mean, it's an old version of Hyrule Castle Town and all that, you know, like from Ocarina of Time and everything. That's what's implied. But, um... See, I wasn't sure if it would be destroyed here, but no. The Great Calamity is what actually destroyed the place, but yeah. Back to Hestu here. Hester's interesting. Um, I remember when I first played as him, I thought he was really cool. And I mean, how can you not think that's cool? That's not cool. Like, how can you think that's not cool? <laughs> Throwing just random objects at your enemy, in this case, a guardian, which is just amazing. But um, also his running animation, the little wobble, I, I love that. But uh, as I've gone on to use like all the characters now, I don't know, he may be one of my least favorite, actually. And that, I mean, that's not saying too much, I guess. I, like, love all the characters in this game. All the ones I played as have just been so much fun to play as. But yeah. Also, this song, it's a nice chant, I like it. This is soundtrack in general. Haven't talked about it enough. Amazing, so good. Like, basically, upbeat Breath of the Wild soundtrack, which is <laughs> which is a, re a really good idea just right there, because Breath of the Wild is a great soundtrack, uh, even it, even being like, very somber and just like, not there in a lot of ways most of the time, like, it's y most of the time when you're playing the game, you don't even hear music. You just hear, like, the sounds of nature, and like piano solos uh, every once in a while, but like, um the music that is there is really good. So just going in and uh, redoing all of it and adding new stuff and just making it all more upbeat and better and great and w love it, it's, it's amazing. It's so good. I also want to just like talk about uh, the contrast here for a minute. Because I did play a little bit of Breath of the Wild uh, after I finished the game and I... Uh, I'm going back and recording this episode, like, right after I did that, actually. And, um... 
it's it's interesting just how much of a contrast you get from playing this game compared to Breath of the Wild. It's like, I mean, the controls, the combat, all of that, but like, also just the world, which is, I think, what the developers were going for. They wanted you to see this world like you hadn't seen it before, like 100 years ago, like a fully realized Hyrule that wasn't on the, the brink of ruin. Also, we messed it up there. See, that that was a tantrum over there in the corner. You couldn't quite see it, but that that was it. So yeah, I just uh, I wanted to mention that. Also, I apologize for this just being a really weird episode again, because I can't really speak too much to what's happening in the gameplay, because I'm just like... I can't give you my thought analysis of what I'm doing, because I already did it, and I'm just watching myself do it again. I'm basically a viewer here with you guys this time, just commentating over the gameplay, because I was like, do I really just want to post the gameplay and not have anything over it? No, no, no one wants that. That's boring. You guys could do that yourself, if you have the game. Which I, I recommend you get it. It's, it's a great game. I have enjoyed playing through it immensely. And I would recommend it for anyone that's a fan of Breath of the Wild or a Warriors game. Even if you're a fan of a Warriors game and you're not a fan of a Zelda game and you're watching this video for some reason, <laughs> I'd recommend it. It's a really fun game. One of the one of the best Warriors games I've ever played. I'm you know, I'd go ahead and say it is. Gameplay wise and story wise too, I'd say it, this is peak Warriors game right here. <laughs> Which apparently the sales have reflected that. Uh, game has already shipped out 3 million units, which is like amazing for a Warriors game. And it's doing really well, and you love to see it. It's 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 great. So we're fighting two Hinoxes here. Hinox. I feel like it should be pronounced Hinox, but I've always said Hinox. And I really just don't want to change now. <laughs> I love that animation so much. Nice, nice. Oh, I missed the big glowy blast, though, so yeah, that's what the tantrum looks like. <laughs> As the Blade Master slashes right at Master Koga. Electric Hinox and a regular Hinox over there. Now, I think after this. Yeah, we have to defeat these key enemies, then we go towards the temple, is I think what we need to do. See, even you can, you can get multiple enemies with a big glowy blast. It is so good. You guys might li like, like me, the first time I played Koga, I was like, uh, I don't know about him. Feels like they, they kind of just like made him a joke character that's just like hilarious to watch, but like not that good. But no, like once you actually get into his moveset, unlock all his combos, which I've probably been heavily relying on that for him more than any other character because I just love Master Koka so much and I want to play as him and I want to play as a good him. So I've been unlocking all his uh, combos and stuff as much as I can. But um, no, he's he's really good. He's a really good character and that big glowy blast, once you get the hang of how to use it, is just so powerful and... I love him. Nice. Nice. That's right. Throw the throw the giant uh, metal Yiga ball at him. Oh no, he picked up the tree from the ground. I hate it when they do that. Don't you guys just hate it when you're walking down the street, see a Hinox, and then he's like, he picks up the tree from the ground, and he's like, smack. And I'm like, no. Happens all the time. It's a, it's a real problem with our society, if you ask me. Anyway. <laughs> there we go. Nice finisher. Uh, uh, thanks for the help. I'll head to the shrine. That's right. You follow your boss. You do your good job. Got some Hinox guts, a vicious sickle, and a Hinox tooth. A silver line was up. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I forgot about this. They just love throwing... Line will sit you in this part of the game. Just, yeah. I don't want to spoil anything for the next few episodes, but they love throwing Lionels at you guys, so you get prepared for that. So, yeah, just in case I haven't made that clear yet, for the next two episodes, they will be just the regular recordings that happened 
when I played this for the first time. It's just for some reason, I forgot to turn on the mic when I started recording this day. And I recorded some episodes together, and it was just, like, yeah. So those episodes are recorded together, and yeah. <laughs> so don't worry about it, this is the only one that's like this. Okay, Silver Lionel. Use the bomb. Take him down. This is gonna take forever. Even once we break down this weak point gauge, it's still gonna take like one or two more cycles. I love Lionels and all, but I don't like fighting them in Age of Calamity. They're too hard. <laughs> oh. I'm just, I'm thinking of, like, some of the training missions with Lionels right now, and there. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks to how terrible they are. Because, yeah, the main missions are bad, but, like, the training missions get pretty bad, too. So, <laughs> if you, if you are, um, struggling with this game, don't feel bad, because, yeah, it does get, like, a lot more difficult, which is something I complained about early in the playthrough, so I'm happy about that, at least, but, yeah. I've been playing the entire playthrough on normal mode, so I cannot imagine a uh, hard mode for this right now. Newfound appreciation for Impa again. She's such a fun character and such a good character. Once you get those symbols out, you can throw around the frogs like crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, keep knocking them down. That means the rest of us don't have to work so hard. The Shrine of Resurrection has been activated. Thank you, Yiga Foot Soldier. Appreciate it. And now we head to the temple. You must hurry uh, and provide assistance. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, travel from the Sheikah Tower to the Shrine of Resurrection. But I doubt that I saw that pop up. <laughs> That's the thing, though. When I've been playing this uh, Let's Play, it's been so hard for me to just, like, uh, focus on the pop-ups and everything. Like, even in the corner with, like, uh, character text. I try to do that as much as I can, but, like, I miss, I miss a lot of it because I'm trying to commentate and I'm trying to play the game decently at the same time. And there's just a, a lot to juggle there for this game when uh, trying to do a live Let's Play commentary of it. So, that's, that's just, that's how it goes sometimes, you know. We're in the Shrine of Resurrection, and I wanted to go back right away and see if I could get into the room where Link sleeps, but no. <laughs> they locked that door, so no, we can't go back there. Um, new objective. Where are we going? Aid the Hylian Captains again. They just, they can't, they can't do anything on their own, you know? There's a Malice Guardian, apparently, we have to take out. And there's a Quark right there at the area where you stare out at Hyrule, and just, I take a moment here, I remember this, actually, to just look around at the scenery. I mean, it was a quicker moment than I thought. I thought I took a, a bit more time. Come on, me. Just take a moment to relax, you know? <laughs> but no, I have to go kill the blue bee. Blue pea, or whatever the heck they're called, you know. The ruby. I did it again, ruby. Rupees, uh, rabbit, that one. Because they show up sometimes, and that's cool. Just all the little references in this game. So faithful to Breath of the Wild, and I just, I love it. A lot of fun. I, I put circles on people and they go down. That's how it works. Also, can we just talk about how annoying Octoroks are for a second in this game? They're annoying in Breath of the Wild, but <laughs> they're the number one way to disrupt your combos in this game, and it's just, it's not fun. Also, your running animation. That's when they get me the most, when I'm just running around at the speed of sound. And uh, they just like come up and they're like, no. So there's the Malice Guardian. Uh, so I'm going into Zelda's, like, lum luminosity, luminous mode, whatever, you know, illuminated mode <laughs> here, where, um, I mean, I just call it, like, special Zelda mode, <laughs> but it's, um, basically, you use up special gauge by doing that up in the corner, you know, where you charge up your specials. You use that up by going into that mode, but you basically become super powerful and all your attacks are light arrows and they're basically just uh, like strong attacks that do a bunch of damage, so yeah. Really good for breaking down the weak point gauge once you have it open like that right there. 
It's just the timing can sometimes be hard because you have to push the button, go float up into the air, and then, you know. And then when you're done with it, you have to make sure that you have enough time to push the button and float down from the air, so. It can be hard sometimes, but, uh. Not having too much trouble with this Malice Guardian. Alright. Apparently I just really want to rely on uh, the special Zelda mode right now. I mean, why wouldn't I though? I have special gauge and it's working, so... Alright, make it go into the mode now, me. There you go, that's what you need to do. Once the weak point gauge is down. You can obliterate it with that. It's kind of similar to how Teba's uh, regular strong attack works, where he just like shoots arrows up into the sky. I think they come down a bit faster because with his, like, you have to, like, wait till he's actually done attacking for some of them to come down. Which is actually, like, a really cool part of his moveset, but you guys can go back to the Call of Citadel episode to hear me talk about that more. Alright, let's see. 3... Uh, 3.39 right now is, is my score, KO-wise. It's interesting, though... Uh, too. I'm surprised. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I, I went the wrong way here. I have to go all the way back around, and I was very upset about that. But, um, as I was saying, it's really interesting, too, just how much I remember about the Let's Play right now, I guess. Because <laughs> I'm, like, I'm thinking back to myself, how the heck do you remember this? You've been playing this game for, like, 20 hours to get this Let's Play done, and that's, like, that's a, that's a lot to remember. But then I remember, oh, yeah, I had to edit all the episodes. <laughs> So I've seen what I did here, like, twice. I experienced it, and then I also went through and edited it. So, yeah. And this one, I, I'll get to see it three times. I did it again, didn't I? I did. <laughs> I was like, I want to go around this side again. I just I really like going to the right for some reason today. But it, it did work out. You could go around either side. What's in here? Is this a moblin? Okay. I was scared it was a Lionel for a second. All right, roar, Magnesis. I love how the boomerangs just like fly around in Magnesis. It just it looks cool, you know. Just look at the damage from that though. That is, that special Zelda mode is pretty great. Not gonna lie. All right, weak point, smash him. Bye-bye. The Electric Guardian and their allies have appeared. Of course they have. <laughs> so it looks like we have uh, four more bosses over uh, on the other side of the plateau. You smell that? A fresh, a fresh batch of baddies. I was going to read that, me. Dang. Interrupting me. Jeez. But yeah, it looks like we're sending... Am I trying to send Zelda over there? Yeah, I don't think I can do that. She has to, like, go back to the shrine, so she's probably... I don't think I use her to take out these guys. She can not She can take that keep there, right? She can do that, I think. Maybe that's what I'm doing. I don't know. <laughs> We're about to find out. Yeah, okay, so I can't go that way, but yeah, I go in here and take the keep. Yeah! I predicted myself. That's pretty cool. Alright, just, yeah, that's another thing that this is really good for, just like, instantly taking a keep by just throwing, throwing, shooting, uh, light arrows all over the place. That's another way to just take the keep extremely fast. Cool, 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 cool. Where's the big guy? Any second now, right? Any second now. There's a big guy. Magnesis. Okay. Finish. Ah, okay. I hate it when that happens. When you're so close to finishing them off, but then just the weak point gauge says, no, I'd rather not be here right now. <laughs> the stasis worked, though, so that's good. Take this keep. Shaka laka, look at you! Look at you! Wow, Hestu, look at you! <laughs> that poor one guy. 
I was like, I just, I need to take care of him. Oh, Siner. Uh, Siner! Hinox, yeah, that's what I meant to say. Fire Hinox. Um, words just sometimes don't work for me, you know? But you guys know that by now. <laughs> if you watch this Let's Play, I feel like that's something you probably learned by now. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I feel, I feel like I remember switching away from Hester here in a minute, though, because he was just not doing enough damage to this Lionel. Yeah, I feel like it's like right after I use a special. <laughs> spoilers, Zeno. Spoilers. I didn't know that. Okay, there's an electric guardian back there, too. And who, that's... Per oh, Pura's on the field. I think... Koga's around here, too, right? Is he the yellow one? Yeah, he's yellow, so Koga's right in there, actually, fighting the guardian. Oh, no, not the fire tree. I'm just waiting for myself to switch, because I know I do. Okay, yeah, there. I switched to Impa. Who's just fighting the silver moblin over here. Come on, me, you gotta get those symbols going. There you go, see? <laughs> We're always on the save wa uh, wa wavelength there. It, it, it takes us a minute. We're like, what was I supposed to do here? Oh, yeah, the symbols, yeah. <laughs> and then we're just... We're right on each other, you know? It's great. All right, let's see. Yeah, just look at how much more damage you can do. Just by having some clones of yourselves. It's great. All right, and then I just finish this off, maybe, in this turn? Or no? No, not quite, I don't think. Yeah, not quite. I hear Guardian lasers back in the background. So I, I can even hear the game better right now than other episodes, because I'm playing the video back through my computer so that I can commentate over it, whereas I'm usually playing the audio off the monitor and it has just like a lot less uh, settings for how you want audio to be. Like the, uh, the, the lowest setting for um, audio on the computer is still pretty darn high, but then like if you go any lower than that it just goes to zero. So I don't even know what's up with that, you know? Audio settings are weird on monitors. That's just, that's it. <laughs> that's the answer. Stasis. Alright, watch out. That big glowy blast is coming in quick. Yeah, there we go. Were you ready, me? No! Oh, we weren't. Okay. Alright. I... I can now do my old self. Probably because when you're not actually playing, you can notice so many more details. I'm sure you, you guys have had the exact same experience. Like, you've seen stuff that I haven't, and you've been like, Xeno, what the heck? What the heck? Now I get to have that experience, too. <laughs> I get to tell myself what the heck. Back it up. There you go. Wait for the slap. Wait, no, he's going for the tree. I thought it, I thought that was a slap attack. That, uh, dot. Okay, there you go. Get in there. Do the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Do a little dance. Nice. Alright. Is this a slap one? Or is he going to do the tree again? He, he, he keeps pulling out the tree. Why are you pulling out a tree? And that's not how fire works. Just so you know, you can't just turn something orange and uh, uh, call it fire. You know? I don't know. That's kind of weird. Not gonna lie. I really should be sending someone to the other uh, dot on the map right now. Just so they're at least there. So that I'm ready when I finish the fire line. I mean, the fire line is almost done now, so. Not too big of a deal. Impa's almost there. Just a small one. By my calculations, that performance was worthy of applause. Cool. Thanks, Robbie. Appreciate it. Oh, hey, look. We got some new maracas for Hestu. Cool. Oh, my gosh. How did they even get up in the air there? And how did I instantly kill that thing? <laughs> I forgot about that. That's hilarious. Yeah. I was in... Midair, slowing down time is Impa when uh, we finished the level, and I was like, "What the heck is happening?" Because I didn't think the uh, I didn't think the level was over yet. I thought it was too easy, actually. I re I remember this. I strongly remember this because Fort Hatena was so like, whew, 
so much. And I was like, what the heck? That was too easy, game. So, <laughs> yeah. That, that was my reaction. Recreated for you all. So it looks like we got 25 minutes. Uh, finished that up. Some level ups there. Got some new weapons for Koga, even though the Demon, uh, Demon Carver is, I believe, his best weapon already. We got some new maracas for Hestu. They kind of look like uh, uh, the Korok um, seed thing that he gives you for getting all the things. So that's a little gross, but <laughs> uh, the honey crepes aren't. That actually looks delicious. I would eat that. Thanks to this. This little thing saved me. Precious gifts, you have saved my life. While I accused you of evading your duty. In truth, perhaps I was guilty of the same. Forgive me. That's not... <laughs> Father, you've always loved me. Everything you've done has always been for me. The burden, the heavy load you've shouldered all this time, from now on. Please, let me help you carry it. Zelda, you are my pride. And indeed, the pride of all Hyrule. With your power, I believe you will seal away <laughs> Calamity Ganon. Now, let us rally our forces for a final push. Troops from all regions shall gather at Hyrule Field. <clears throat> Alongside our princess, we will retake Hyrule Castle. So yeah. Rome is alive. <laughs> and I remember, uh, just to recreate my reaction for you, I was very kind of upset because, you know, um, that was the one thing that uh, I, I felt you, you need to at least have something. There has to be some consequence left, but no, he was still there. Also, I didn't actually read his description there, but I'm, I'm sure you guys are fine with me not reading it. I mean, you can see it. <laughs> Read it yourself. <laughs> um, no. Thank you guys for watching this episode. But yeah. Looks like next episode we're going straight to Hyrule Field. Uh, me? What are you doing? What? What? Okay. 
All Hyrule United. Yes, that is next episode. So make sure you join us here then for uh, that. And um, yeah, I am excited to show you guys the conclusion to this and uh, 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 hopefully just see what happens, you know? I mean, I already know, but soon past me and you guys will know as well. So uh, I hope you're excited and I will see you then next episode for All Hyrule United. See you guys then. Bye.